There's something magical about finding the right note-taking tool to capture your thoughts. A lot of note-taking apps now serve different purposes. Two of the most useful of them are Obsidian and SimpleNote. Obsidian understands that our minds aren't linear. They're complex, interconnected landscapes of ideas. It's like having a patient friend who helps you map out your thinking, creating beautiful connections between concepts you might not have seen before. SimpleNote, meanwhile, is that friend who cuts through the noise. No unnecessary complications, just a clear, straightforward way to capture what matters. It's beautiful in its simplicity. But which one is actually for you? Let's dive into the details of Obsidian and Simple Note. Obsidian is a markdown-powered note-taking app centered around local-first storage. That means your notes are saved on your device. This setup prioritizes privacy while still allowing optional syncing. Its second-brain philosophy means you can create a web of interconnected ideas, which makes it an excellent choice for knowledge management. The app is highly customizable. It allows users to tweak the interface and add plugins to fit their specific workflow. SimpleNote lives up to its name by focusing on core features that make note-taking simple. It's available on major platforms including Android, iOS, macOS, Windows, and Linux, ensuring cross-device compatibility. It supports basic notes, checklists, tagging, and sharing. You can even collaborate in real-time or publish notes for wider access. Backed by the creators of WordPress, it offers a no-cost, streamlined solution for users who want a distraction-free writing space without unnecessary frills. So it's time to break their interface down individually. Looking at Obsidian's interface, you'll notice multiple components that define its functionality. The main window is surrounded by customizable sidebars, each containing specific tools and features. The dual mode system is a core element. Edit mode provides a clean writing space with markdown support, while preview mode renders your formatted text in real time. To enhance efficiency, users can implement a split screen view by holding command and clicking the preview icon. This creates two parallel panes that eliminate the need for constant mode switching. Obsidian doesn't lock your data in a proprietary format. Instead, it uses plain text files that are universally accessible, which ensures that you have full ownership of your information. And knowing that your data is stored in a format that's entirely under your control provides a level of security and peace of mind that's hard to beat. SimpleNote is all about simplicity. On the left side, you got a list of your notes. On the right, you can view or edit whichever note you've selected. If you look at the top left corner, there's a small menu icon. Clicking it opens up a third panel where you can check out your deleted notes, adjust some settings, or organize things with tags. We'll talk more about tags a bit later. Notes start out as plain text, so there aren't any fancy fonts or formatting to distract you. If you want, though, you can enable Markdown. It's a straightforward way to add bold or italic text using symbols, like wrapping words and asterisks to make them bold. But here's the thing. If Markdown isn't your thing, no big deal. You can skip it and stick with plain text. In terms of features, both Obsidian and SimpleNote bring something different. With Obsidian's bi-directional links, you can create a two-way connection between your notes. Here's how it works. When you link one note to another, both notes recognize the connection. So, if note A links to note B, you'll find the link to note A directly within note B, and vice versa. This setup lets you navigate between related notes effortlessly. Instead of being restricted to a linear or folder-based structure, you're building a web of ideas. This design aligns with how our minds work, where thoughts are interconnected in fluid, organic ways. Bidirectional links aren't just convenient, they also reveal connections between pieces of information that you might not notice otherwise, especially in projects where different topics or ideas are tightly intertwined. Now, looking at SimpleNote's Markdown capability, there's room for improvement. While it supports Markdown for formatting, you can't see changes as you type. To check how your formatting looks, you have to click a separate preview button, which can disrupt the flow of your work. Comparatively, Obsidian offers an inline editing experience, so you're always aware of how your note will appear. 
SimpleNote does provide a checklist feature for managing tasks, which is handy, but it lacks a consolidated view to display all your tasks across notes. The knowledge graph in Obsidian acts as a bird's eye view of your notes. Each note appears as a node, with lines that link them based on shared connections or references. This layout makes it easier to grasp how ideas relate to one another at a glance. Instead of sifting through notes individually, you can instantly identify connections between concepts and pinpoint areas that might need further exploration or elaboration. The Canvas feature is much more than a standard note editor. It gives you a versatile, visual workspace where you can drag and drop notes, arrange them into clusters, and create a clear framework for understanding their relationships. This isn't just about aesthetics. It's designed to help you break down complex topics, make connections clearer, and retain information more effectively. When it comes to organizing your notes, most apps offer a couple of options. Evernote and OneNote are known for their dual approach. They let you group notes into notebooks and also use tags for additional organization. SimpleNote, however, simplifies this with just a tagging system. To tag a note in SimpleNote, you simply type a keyword into the tag field located at the bottom of the note. There's no limit to how many tags you can assign to a single note, which makes searching and filtering by tags a simple procedure. Another feature SimpleNote offers is internal linking. This lets you insert a link in one note that directly connects to another note, which makes it easy to reference related content. While this feature isn't unique to SimpleNote, it's also available in apps like Obsidian in a far better way, it's a powerful way to organize and connect your ideas efficiently. Now, one of Obsidian's most effective features is its support for plugins, which significantly enhance its functionality. You can integrate tools for minor aesthetic tweaks or more advanced features. These plugins empower you to calibrate the app precisely to your preferences and transforming it into a personalized note-taking solution that works the way you do. SimpleNote, on the other hand, supports importing notes from Evernote, provided you first export your Evernote notebooks as NX files. However, it's important to understand that images and attachments won't carry over, as SimpleNote doesn't support them. For notes in other formats, you can import entire folders of text files, including markdown documents. Exporting is straightforward as well. SimpleNote allows you to back up all your notes as a zip file containing TXT documents, a universally compatible format. Both desktop and mobile versions of SimpleNote work offline, while the web version requires an internet connection unless you use its progressive web app for offline functionality. Additionally, SimpleNote offers collaboration tools, just add an email address to a tag to share notes privately or generate a public URL to share read-only access. These sharing options, particularly in a free app, make it a versatile choice. So after going through a thorough comparison, it's clear that there can't be a clear winner between Obsidian and SimpleNote. The reason is both serve different purposes and audience base. You have to think of which personality you belong to. Do you like to organize your thoughts just like a second brain? or you need a tool as simple as a pen paper. Your answer will guide you to either Obsidian or SimpleNote, and apparently, you will move one step forward to be productive. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this.